Okay, this is a short video on how to make your own windshield washer fluid. First, get yourself one of these 70% isopropyl alcohol. They should be about a dollar. Get yourself some cheap dishwashing detergent. This here is 25 ounces for about a dollar. Get yourself four uh, gallon containers. And you can use whichever ones you want. Some people use the ones they buy the windshield washer fluid with. And then fill them mostly with water. Unscrew the caps and set them in the sink. When I say fill them mostly with water, I mean fill them mostly with water. Right about there. Next. And we set this one out here. We unscrew the isopropyl. Oh, this one doesn't even have a... That's beautiful. And you put about this much soap in there. About like that. Beautiful color there. Really nice. Oh, the next bottle is ready. Yeah. Set that up there and put the next one there. And again, we put about this much soap in it. Yeah, right about there. I make myself a little space here. So I got room for the last two. You see the soap? It gives it a nice blue color. You can use any color soap you want. Doesn't really make a difference. The windshield washer fluid does not have to be blue in order to keep your windshield clean. Set the next bottle up here. Put the last one here. You can do this one gallon at a time just as well. And one time, one more time, you put about, oh, yeah, that much soap in it. Yeah. And we put, we're going to have to split this bottle of isopropyl between all four. You don't really have to do this, but I really like to do that because, oh, it smells interesting as you're going down the road. And, uh, you know, and last but not least, we got this one bottle here, and one more time about that much soap. You will not use the entire container, but you will probably go through. I guess I went through about a third of a bottle of soap, dishwashing detergent. Um, I would suggest not getting the most expensive. This is just generic stuff. I think I found this at Big Lots. Shoppers value, I don't know, might have been dollar store or something. Now here comes the tricky part, we gotta divide up the isopropyl between all four bottles. Oops, try not to spill any. Uh, yeah, I mean I eyeball all this stuff. I'm just not that concerned you know whether it's exact or not and then we fill them up almost completely about there you know and the next one if it foams a little um, and this is why it's important to fill it with water first. If it foams a little, just stop putting anything in there, you know. And uh, there's that one. And then, I like to do them four at a time because you split up your bottle of isopropyl right nicely. Um, isopropyl alcohol is about a dollar a bottle and it is not cheap. So I like to make about four gallons off of that stuff. Um, you know, other than the cost of water, which is about a two cents a gallon, 
Um, the isopropyl runs me about 25 cents each if I divide it up by four. And this here bottle of soap is about, oh, that was about a dollar. So I used about a quarter of that or a third. I think it's 33 cents divided by four. Oh, I'm going to say eight cents with the cost of the water is 10 cents. And the isopropyl is, so the, this cost me about 35 cents a bottle. You could say maybe 40 cents, but it's not much more. And, uh, you know, this stuff works really good. You can try it yourself. You can see about how much color I gave it with that soap. It's it's not as blue as the stuff you buy at the store, but it'll soap up your windshield better than any store-bought stuff. Right there. I mean, that right there will last me a long time, and uh, I use the stuff like, I, like I'm made of money, man. You know, every day I wash my windshield with my homemade wiper fluid. And this stuff here is like three bucks at the freaking gas station, you know. You can use, I've actually reused those very bottles that they sell at this at the station, you know. And some one of these is like a large shampoo or horse bottle or something. Well, that takes care of that. Y'all have fun. Bye.